This is Isla, a lady robot with a special touch. The mobile system was developed at the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence. Isla could, for example, operate systems on the International Space Station, as simulated here. But that's not all. The robot can even navigate unfamiliar environments on her own. We work with probabilities a lot, very similar to how people operate. You have a certain hypothesis about where you are at any given time. Then you take two steps forward to see if your assumption was correct. If so, the assumption regarding your original hypothesis is reinforced. Based on this experience, you continue mapping your environment in a gradual process. Researching intelligent and autonomous systems like Isla is an important step in making driverless cars a reality. This is why Volkswagen became involved with the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence. We're facing a number of problems, quote-unquote, in the field of autonomous driving. For example, Isla needs to sense and chart her environment using her camera systems as well as her laser and distance measuring sensors located in the chest section here. The same issues apply in autonomous driving. Take city traffic, for example, where you're dealing with playing children, senior citizens, cyclists, people on motorbikes and other road users. They need to be captured by the sensors and recognized for what they are, so I can then assess the situation I'm in and anticipate and predict what these people are going to do. The process of sensing the environment continues to improve and become more precise, but in future the advent of intelligent vehicles will also change the infrastructure in which they operate. We will also have sensor components that communicate with vehicles directly and in this way give them a much broader impression of their environment than these vehicles would be able to create with their own onboard sensors. Fully autonomous driving does not always mean car sharing, however. In future, we will also have individually available mobility. I do believe that people will have personal mobility concepts, but that they will be able to adapt them to their living circumstances. For example, it could be possible to use modular systems and reconfigure them, meaning you could change the size and complexity of your car to suit a certain purpose. You could have a two-seat car to go to work, but then use additional components to extend the car for a weekend trip to the zoo with your kids. All of this will become possible through robotics, artificial intelligence, but also advanced advances in other fields of technology, like smartphones, sensors and computer chips. I believe that in future we will no longer buy monolithic systems, but systems that we can adapt to our needs very quickly and very easily. In future, robots will be able to perform tasks on their own, anywhere, in space or on Earth and in various appearances. As you can see, in the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, the future has already begun. <laughs>